Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at Springfield Armory's newest handgun. And you may say, I already know what it is. It's that new TRP, you know, the one with the new G10 grips, Cerakote, nice color schemes, a little different cut in the trigger. That's what it is, the new TRP. They have a couple different models, go about two grand. I've got the original TRP. I love this 1911. It is so refined. Such a nice looking and shooting 1911 with night sights. As accurate as can be, they now call this the classic TRP, Tactical Response Pistol. But what's in this box is not the new TRP. This was actually introduced the first day of SHOT Show. So about a week prior to SHOT, they introduced the new TRP. Now they're offering and well introducing this and offering it so what are we talking about this goes half the price less than half the price of the two grand price tag for the new trp and here we have a new offering from springfield armory called the 1911 garrison commander size with the four and a quarter inch barrel Now, I have the 1911 government size in 9mm, and one of the things I noticed right away, if you look at the grip here, it's got a wood grain. That's a true wood grip, so is this, but this is not grained wood. I think this gives it a little more classy look. Both these are stainless, and I mentioned that it's a bit cheaper. 917 for the stainless model Garrisons, and if you go with the blued model, this exact handgun, the MSRP is 868 for the blued model. But there are people that would choose a four and a quarter inch commander size because they carry 1911s. I hear that often. I also hear people say, I want to carry 45 ACP and I don't want to pay over a grand. Well, this would be the Springfield Armory 1911 that you would go with. Comes with one seven round mag. It is stainless, a shine on the side of the slide, matte finish, silver finish on the top strap. We can see on the dust cover here, that's matte. The frame is matte. It does have a smooth front strap, 20 line per inch, flat mainspring housing, and that 1911 trigger that is just so amazing. This one's breaking right around four and a half pounds love the 1911 trigger and i think that grip looks super cool it has ramped up novak style rear sights a pinned in front dot it is three dot all right and it does have a Thumb safety on the left side of the pistol. Uses a GI style guide rod, fully ramped barrel, and it's a 70 series. So you have a nice smooth trigger without the additional process with a firing pin safety. You wouldn't notice it's an additional process, but it is. So that, they call that the 80s series. This is a 70s series but i think it looks super cool i think it is one of well i know it's one of springfield's most budget handguns well 1911s i should say but i took it to the range uh, thoroughly impressed love love springfield's 1911s they they do such a nice job you know you think about the the trp that i mentioned and then all the nine millimeters that they have this is the garrison and many others, the Ronin EMP comes to mind. But here we have the newest release, a 45, and this is available in nine millimeter in commander size for the same MSRP with the stainless model, 917. So let's head out to the range and we can check out how well it performs.
Here we have Fiocchi Hyper Performance XTP 230 grain hollow points. No problem. As you can see, the 1911 Garrison performed great. Really enjoyed it. It has a much heavier recoil spring compared to the 9mm model. And we'll do a quick size comparison, at least the length of the slide. Okay, four and a quarter inch, five inch barrel, that's what you're looking at. And that's why people would choose to carry the four and a quarter inch commander size 1911. Many people would choose to carry 45 ACP. I'm serious. I hear a lot of people say that I don't even mess around with 9mm. Forget that 40. I'm going with 45 ACP. And for those who do carry, you saw me fire this Fiocchi Hyper Performance XTP Jacketed Hollow Points. Worked without any issue at all in the 1911 Garrison. I love shooting 1911s. I love everything about them. And this one certainly makes a nice addition to the collection. And I dig 45 ACPs and this one certainly got the job done. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.